stuff. I think any any element where you can do like fast predictions is what you're looking for if you want to have fun as a jungle or support. To me, just don't pick anything you picked in the LCS last season. Yeah. Those are the guidelines. <laughs> okay. Nothing that was competitively viable. Faker's like, I ain't dealing with this stuff anymore. Bans out the Garen, gets rid of the Galio himself. Yeah, it's a respect ban. He's never done this before, Crepo. It's purely <laughs> because of the kills. Gaster from XPK, he watched the VODs. He couldn't solve it. Had to ban it away. I couldn't, uh, couldn't be stopped. Nope. Peke getting that double kill onto Bengi and Faker. Uh, taking a look at the other side, a little bit more tryhard on those bans. Yep. Nautilus, LeBlanc, Syndra. I mean, um, that's a bit more traditional. But now the pressure is on. Team Fire, will you let the side down? Or oh, there we go. That's a fun champion. I, I can accept a Skarna. That's, that's a steal Rainbow. from Clearlove, though. Clear oh, the going the back to the corner, But we get the Shaco locked in. Very fun champion to uh, see played, especially with the changes. <laughs> yes, uh, I love it, I love it. And, and it's I, not Timo. Oh, oh it's God. locked already. Okay, this is great. Faker did not bat Aatrox, so he can actually pick it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Aatrox the equivalent of Timo, but in Korea? I mean, Faker Faker always bans Aatrox as well, because um, when he was over here, he just bans the first champions on the list. So usually that's like Garen Galio over in Korea, I think, because they, they spell him differently. Aatrox is what he was known for to ban in Europe, basically whenever, the, or in uh, North America, or whenever there was a, a Aatrox ban, you knew you were playing against Faker. The funniest part of that was, people actually started banning yeah. Aatrox themselves to, to get to force dodges, <laughs> because if they didn't want to play with their team, you ban Aatrox, like, oh crap, it's Faker, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a look at some of the other picks really quickly. Draven, Tristana, Maokai locked in. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the crowd in the background at all, but uh, Ebi over on the Spanish stream just lost it with the Maokai lock in. It was his main that got him all the way yeah. to Diamond. And it's what he was going to pick if I had banned Renekton. Unless that's yesterday. a Maokai support that's or mid or something, it's unacceptable. I mean, it's probably, they're probably picking for themselves at this point. I don't think we need to swap to rush picks. I mean, I don't think in a fun mode, everybody's going to uh, go for a Maokai steal. So it looks like uh, Maokai mid versus yeah. Brown. Zed, Zed, Zed for Faker! Or for Rano P. Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. It has to be. There's, there's nearly no doubt in my mind. So, does Peke run E mid? No, I, th I think he's going to play like Maokai mid, is what it looks like. I think it's going to be Clear Love jungling that, but who knows? Maybe it is going to be E. It, 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 it's it's so hard Maokai to tell, right? <laughs> I actually can't feel what they're yelling. <laughs> Maybe Paco. Yeah, Paco. I, I'm not sure. Rengar locked in. I have no idea where anyone's going. <laughs> Oh, so it is Faker on Zed, Brand Support, Scar on Jungle Team on top. That makes more sense. Okay, so Albus is actually going to play Ignite Exhaust Rengar Support. It is, is. Peke with the, the Maokai mid. It is a really strong level 2 power spike champion. Like, no joke. Like, dealing with a Rengar Support, you, you just step away from it, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's that unfortunate counter to the champion is actually the area without the brush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you lean left the whole time in lane. <laughs> Hug the river and then hope Clear Love doesn't come to visit you. Yep. Now I've heard um, Shaco is how it's pronounced, isn't it? Because I really want to say Shaco. I think it's Shaco. At least that's what I'd say. I've heard I Shaco is absolutely terrorizing solo queue at the minute. Yeah, it's actually really good. And there's a lot of ways you can build it. Traditionally in top lane, you see AP, I think, a lot more. I've seen a lot of people playing uh, things like actually Protobelt first Shaco. Yep. But you can build it a lot of different ways. You can go Gunblade, you can go AD. Uh, the champion is a blast to watch and to play. It, it's, it's actually really strong. It's not uh, fun to play against, though. No. The favorite thing for me is the sweeper counterplay against the Shaco. Watching a silhouette um, change directions as he <laughs> realizes he's being tracked while you have the sweeper around you, that is one of my favorite things to do uh, as a support, to just mess with him. He's also really strong right now because his AP kind of, his auto attack on Q scales from AP, which is really hard to kind of deal with because you can't really itemize efficiently against him. All right, we'll find out exactly how Soaz decides to itemize in just a moment or two. Team Ice has already been declared the All-Star Champions for 2016. This is purely for bragging rights, for victory, for your favorite champion, or for whatever else these pros want to do. For solo killing Faker, of course. That's what it's all about here. Or or for 5 one Faker. It doesn't matter. You just got to get the job done. If as you, long as Faker dies. Exactly. If you solo kill Faker with Maokai, I mean, you deserve it. <laughs> it's TP Maokai as well. Look, like actually, they're setting up for a big bot lane fiesta as well. Double TP here versus zero teleports on the side of Team Fire. One thing I have found, though, you can't TP if you're dead. Which uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes can work out for the other team. Yeah. I mean, Soaz is also carrying that Ignite because that's what top lane Shakos do. They don't need the flash necessarily. Yeah.
the Q the Q becomes a pretty low cooldown, and uh, I'll be interested to see what he actually maxes and stuff, because um, I have seen a lot of different ways that people have played it. I've seen Box getting maxed, I've seen uh, Twin Shift getting maxed, so there's, there's a lot of different ways that people do like to play it. There is still the, the new part of the meta where uh, at least these guys will have some knowledge of what's happening level one, because Unless you have an iron in your game, you can always see where the jungler starts because he needs a leash so badly to get the, the sexy level 3 timing that you can always see which side is getting ganked from the minimap. This is going to actually be a super good leash uh, yep. for clear love. With double boxes, he probably doesn't even need to smite if he doesn't want to. So options for clear love then. Decide where he wants to move. Rainer has already picked up that first spire. We'll have to track how well he can play on the Skana. And if he decides to build anything other than tank, though I'm not sure Rainer knows how. Even yeah. in the fun modes at All Star, in all the games. I mean, Skarner, you have to build tank. <laughs> you can go Triforce first, though. Yeah, you can. I'd love to. I'd I have seen see some that. Warrior Triforce stuff. Even at Worlds, I think we saw one game of that. So yep. uh, it is something that is kind of legit, but even just going tank, it's going to be really effective. And it'll be really tough for someone like the Yi to deal with that pre QSS, right? If you're a squishy champion like this and you get grabbed up as the Shaker or the Yi, you're going to get popped. I don't want to make any predictions here, but I think there's going to be a level 3 gank top because Soaz just gave the most royal of leashes. That's like the ultimate spa treatment for his jungler. Right now, Alba is looking for those massive resets. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> it's so funny. All of the autos on the leaf ah. continues to do it. More jumps. Well, oh God. Celebrity is being jumped on by Uzi. This could be first blood. A lot of damage going down, but 200 HP for Celebrity and Rona B. Rona B just flashed back towards him. <laughs> Flashback to reality, dude. The, the big, pain big is still here. I think he wanted to exhaust Albus, but he just misclicked his summoners. Oh, this is so obnoxious to deal with. Every time you go forward, Albus is just leaping and hopping and skipping. and oh, There's just no way to get away from that. Ronald P is looking for the outplay potential, though. He's playing Tricorp. Oh, no. He has Ignite. Oh, Peke. The Flash Fake has already used the Ignite. Could look for the Execute. The Ignite. Oh! The Peke survives. Peke the Flash. Peke all calculated, of course. Walks oh. back in. I don't know if this part's calculated. Gets a passive proc from his all attack to uh, just get a little bit of health there. Still holding on to that teleport, so no summoners for Faker. All right, Ron P. Look at that bomb ticking away. Elvis gets stunned up. Exhaust comes out. Celebrity, the bomb pops. Defensive hop away from Elvis, and he stays alive. Can we have a moment to just sympathize with Soas? He gives the ultra leash, the king of leashes, to his jungler, and Clear Love says, you know what? I'm used to playing with Mouse. I don't think you understand, buddy. <laughs> there are no ganks coming to this top lane. He has five CS. Yeah, I'll just leave that Shaco up there laning against Teemo. That's a fun time for Sounds everybody. Sounds like fun to me. If there ever was a player from the EU top laners who could theoretically handle himself in the top lane, sorry, he's going to be one of those guys. He's going to have a lot of time to prove himself, though. Is Celebrity and Uzi trading. Oh, oh, a lot of oh, damage. He's going oh, he down. He did, he did, he did, That's going to be a solo kill first blood. The Akon gets flashed as Rano P. And Celebrity were able to take down first blood against Uzi and Albus. Yeah, I would have thought. Rana P was basically faking it. He, he was acting like he didn't see Albus in that brush, then just quickly turns around and gets see, stun combo. This right here, if you're going to play Yi, you need to learn this gank. This is called the, this is called the I'll hold the wave. <laughs> Part two of the gank, I'll push the wave. <laughs> it's also so brutal that Impact is running the most evil of Teemo skins to celebrate uh, the ending of All-Star because he's a figurehead. He was on that gigantic Team Fire animated video. Yeah, but look, man. This is just, this is the stuff that scars top laners for life. If you're off-rolling jungle and you don't get a leash, this, because somehow, some jungler did this to one of the top laners. Had him leash two camps in a row with boxes and then just never visit the wave into a range versus melee matchup. I pity so much, man. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. A lot of damage onto Peke, but fake it. It's chunked down by all the minions. Oh, so as he's teleporting back and he's on the verge of being dove. If if they actually pull that off, Jesus, that would be so unfortunate. Clear off right now, pathing mid though. Yeah, no death mark available for Faker, but he's got uh, the ability to shadow dash over the wall. Look for the clone. Look for the clone. Easy peasy travel. Even leaves clear left behind. Waits for the alpha strike to finish. Yeah, and uh, Peke didn't have his flash, so he couldn't actually get flash root and set that up. But even if they got it, I'm not sure they would have killed Baker no. there. They don't have too much damage. He hasn't even base, so yeah, he's going to be pretty weak at this point in the game. Yeah, just sitting on that Hunter's machete, taking a look down the rest of the items. Uzi's got a cult. Uh, minus 20 CS for Soez. Teleport used as well. A real surprise. 
I want to see the level 6 spike here for Uzi, though, because you can actually uh, insect with Tristana. So I want him to hop in, or flash, knock him towards the burst, but then I'll have his dunkston. That is like the ideal scenario combo. Or alternatively, hop in, get stunned by Brand, die instantly. <laughs> That we'll call uh, method one the crepo <laughs> approach and method two the quick shot approach. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see which one. No, no, no. He's not, running, he's not running ghost in a useless matchup. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I was so nervous about my roots of masteries, I forgot to look at my summoner spells. Like, it's such Happens. a rookie error. Such a rookie. First time. Yeah. Did not do myself proud. Couldn't be much worse than that, so. Oh, no, that's definitely true. true. That's <laughs> Impact's being pushed back though. Scared of those jacks in the boxes. Yep. I don't know if he's gonna set up Albus, and again, there's just like a gentleman's agreement. Support on support. ADC on ADC. Yeah, Albus wants to jump in whenever Q is down so he can at least uh, survive. Oh. Albus is all costly though. He really does. Albus is gonna get impaled and pulled backwards. Looks like it's going to be a trade one for one. Albus goes down. Uzi Rocket jumps forward, gets the flash. We jump up to the top lane. Soaz is gonna get dropped down. Impact is running for his life, and the hallucinate not gonna be able to pick up the kill. Oh, there's a E coming his way. They'll clear off. As Soaz is dead, he's probably gonna wait for the. Kill credit to expire and then even out the CS here or the kills. No flash available. Flash into Alpha Strike. Wuju style thrown down. He's blinded. Impact is just getting so much HP back as well. He's going to be able to survive. Don't worry. This is, like I said, this is part two. I'll push the yeah. wave. Oops. Uh, <laughs> do some AOE. Failed the gank. Pushed away for you, buddy. <laughs> Here's Faker. Oh, let's see. What can Faker do? Deathmark and Igniter's up. Clear up against channeling the Meditate. Well, clear up can juke out of Faker's ultimate, so I don't think he's going to commit out of that one. Honestly, dining. So, clear love. He throws Soez under a bus, and then while Soez is just getting back up and recovering, pushes him off a cliff. You know, it's it's more of a no rush twenty champ. You know, <laughs> you're not you're not trying to do anything too early here. You're scaling. You know, we'll see if we can pull off anything nice later. Yeah, so I was trying to pull a freezer. He's like, if you ain't ganking and push him out lane, I'm parking the bus. I ain't moving. I'm done. Oh. What a tough situation. 33 CS, an Amp Tome and a Ruby Crystal. Uh, how's Albus doing? He's got that Sight Stone picked up. No real fun items yet. Rainover's got a, a Sheen, though. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. could, it could go Frozen Fist, or yeah. it could go Triforce, which is what we're, we're hoping for. Yeah, Frozen Fist is, is actually pretty decent on, on Skarner, so I think that's reasonable. Uh, Triforce is a lot more aggressive, but pretty good, too. I love that Rainover also has, like, 52 CS. He's, like, rivaling the wings in terms of creep score. On his favor. Pekka, on the other hand, being pushed in under pressure again by Faker. No real surprise. It's Pekka with the Maokai. Right, One CS lead. Let's see, in fact, blind. Uh, running in there with Highlander. Is that a gank in the top lane? Just gonna deceive in, and that was just very, very easy. It's a lock on. You convinced the enemy top laner that you're not coming to gank him. Next level strategy is being unveiled here. Eight minutes of bluff into uh, the final gank. Jump onto Celebrity, looking for that bowler strike. Albus is not fighting it because he just gets insta-stunned. This is the quick shot, remember, in jumping in, getting stunned, and getting dunked. Yeah. <laughs> they take him down, and Rainover doesn't even have to bowl the ulti, so he can make a return later if he wants. And, and with Impact dying, he doesn't have TP, so Soas can catch up on farm pretty quickly here, yep. especially if you can pull off a return gank. If you kill someone without TP, they walk their way slowly the same, back man. the lane, walk and the then they're waiting in the tri bush, and you get dove again. And you know, and then Peke ready to charge Faker here. A lot of support. Yeah, Team Fire bringing numbers to equalize. Clear left doesn't have his ultimate, and Peke actually just TP back to lane, so he can't really make any big plays there either. Yeah. So as it's helping, I love this uh, in generally in pro play, but when you're running TP champ, just run down the mid lane or the bot lane, make a gank and then teleport back to the top lane. Super unexpected. He is spotted on this board, however. Uh, looking at Faker. This could have been such a good play if there wasn't that pesky little ward. Yeah, pesky little ward indeed. So as deceives over the wall. Still hanging out. Um, if Pekka can lock down Faker now, flash as well as that clone. Oh. Not gonna work out. I wish Uzi had his ultimate available because he could actually go for the insect. Maybe for a late night uh, from E here, but it's not yeah. working out. Yeah, I think he maybe was waiting to see if Skarner would show up as well, try to do a counter gank, but mm -hmm. Becky is actually starting to bully here. He has so much armor. Yeah, pretty good trade. So as gonna throw down oh, the hallucinate, no. should be able to deceive forward, but the ignite, the poison, the blind, too easy. Pekka looking Pekka? for the kill. Deathlock is out. Pekka oh, chases no! He misses it. He doesn't get the explosion. 4K. <laughs> so close for Beke. 
Baker ends up walking away with the solo kill and the blue buff, though. Same for Soaz in the top lane. If you want to fight a team where you need to bring a sweeper to the party, you need yeah. to guarantee that these traps are disabled. No shrooms. Surprise, you could have going in the fourth faker. Shadow's Alpha available. Strike, Alpha Strike, Alpha Dragon, Strike, Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. gets in, Ooh. and that's just so easy. I was hoping for Faker to drag Kulov under the turret, but it turns out he probably used the W to farm. Yeah, I think he I think he used the shadow just to try yeah. to push it out. Mm -hmm. And shove that wave. Kulov picks up the wave, picks up the kill. He's 2-0, doing pretty well for his team. Uh, but he's actually getting out farmed pretty heavily by Rainover, which sometimes can be a little bit what is the goal? because uh, of the the types of camps you do take. I actually talked, I think it was with uh, Kobe about this earlier in the week. So 82 CS to 62 is currently a 300 gold difference. Uh, and of course that is thanks to the new uh, pre-season gold adjustments in the jungle yeah. camps and creep score. So you've always got to hit X, double check exactly what the variation is. And so I was looking for Rainover. I don't know if this is a fight he really wants. We'll see if he can take it. Level 8 to level 9. Impale is up for Rainover. So it's just running for his life. Get the blast going if you can. Sends him backwards. Here comes Peke. So it stays alive for a few seconds before the poison takes him down. Peke is forced to run away. Oh. Rainover escapes thanks to the exoskeleton. And Faker arrives to clean up. He's too tanky. <laughs> Way too tanky. Way too tanky. Way too tanky. Even though he's building full damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so let's not get into details. He's just uh -huh. too tanky. Just leave it at that. All right, Uzi enjoying that uh, open up bot lane here. Ooh. The Demolitionist takes tower aggro. Happens. Wow, two tower oh, that shots. Damage. Yeah, he, he wasn't ready for the AoE from the tower to proc onto Celebrity. Celebrity um, took tower like a champ. Albus still hopping. Skipping. <laughs> Jump love uh, ganking mid. By ganking, we mean, oops. All right, let's see holding the wave. I got holding, it. Holding Don't the worry. Wave. Just taxing it. He got away. I tried. 70, 72 CS at the moment. Okay. Is this a taunt? Is, is that what that is? If you've used Alpha Strike, you're not going to be able to dodge the death mark, but support was coming from Peck, yeah, so I it guess. It was uh, an elaborate ruse. Yeah. The faker man, too good. Yeah. If, if I can read that, then Faker's definitely well, not full prey to that one. Faker knew the uh, hybrid AP Maokai was coming in. Hybrid AP Maokai jumping back in. Pekka wants round two. It's not going to work out uh, this time, right? In actual fact, he's running away nearly instantly. And clear love. Still leaving Soaz out to dry. Will oh, find himself face to face oh, with the rain over. Impale is available as well. Albus and Uzi instantly back away. They actually didn't look to start that fight. There's not a lot of hard CC in this lane. Yeah, I don't think it's a fight they want. I mean, if Rainover goes in, they can actually just run forward onto Celebrity, who is like yeah. two hits of health, right? And then it's like, ooh, what am I doing here? Oh, here we go. Vision oh, there of Celebrity. Lost is down. Celebrity's in trouble. Flashes away. Albus has already used his Pyroclasm. Clear love. That's going to be able to kill Albus. Under the tower, Clear love is meditating. Uzi's rocket jump forward. Still can't get the kill. Oh, no! He's alive. Finally goes down. And Celebrity with a double. Nobody focused. This is the Draven for the reset. Clear up was so desperately looking for an Alpha Strike reset in the mid lane. Expaco has fallen as well here. Faker with the solo kill. Ooh. First Tower Blood, 7,000 gold lead, 14 minutes into the game. Dragon's gonna go the way of Team Fire. All right, let's look at this again. Faker sees Expeke. Not a solo kill, we lied. Rain over, came to assist. Look at Faker, he knows that he can press ulti on the kill target. Man, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I'm pretty new to this whole uh, patch and new meta, but I, I do believe that an 8,000 gold lead at 14 minutes, <laughs> generally, generally speaking, means that there is an ever so slight lead for fire. Yeah, I would, I would say that's accurate. I would also say, um, as so as down 2,000 gold, 03 in the top lane. This is generally when you uh, start this, question marking however, your jungler. I, I was gonna say exactly that. This is one time where it legitimately is potentially, or is the jungler's fault. Finally, oh, it's always the jungler's back fault. Up. Oh, here he is for redemption. So I can't even get close. Meditators up. Ooh. Look at that mushroom damage. Clear love cleans up. Takes the kill, though. Walks away. Oh. Bana Pete or Scar. Oh, yeah. He's in the building, actually. I'm sure he just hung his head in shame. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to ask him on Periscope. That's where he's been hanging out all day. Uh -huh. So always is now lingering. Gets caught out by the mushroom. Faker's gonna be able to prick this. Living Shadow forward. Where's the Q? Let's Where is find he? Out. Is that a find Q? out. No. Nope. Is it a Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go.
The best trick is to just shadow step in place and just wait for people to run in every direction. You know what? We have to give major props to observers for that. Keeping the vision yeah. toggled so we don't see so as we're guessing, just like Team Fire is guessing, the unsung heroes of the broadcast. The observers have been doing an amazing job. They did it earlier with the vein plays as well from Double Lift. I absolutely love it. And I have to point out, from my boy Rain over, he's building damage. Lucidity boots, he's got the Triforce. Where's the hate now, Quick There's Shot? There's no hate, it's pride, there's enjoyment. It's All Stars is leveling up Rain over. All we needed him to do was just lose the tournament and suddenly he could start building, right? <laughs> <laughs> I will admit the tank Rengar, not my favorite. Debatable. Support Rengar isn't working out too much either for Albus. Hmm. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought? It looked I mean, good, it though. really, the level two power viable. spike, right? The level two power spike. All right, let's see. Albus and Clear Lab, they're in trouble. They're about nope. to get jumped on. Albus, uh, not the pair of Ninja Tabby to work with. That's a pick. He's decided to come sacrifice himself as well. Stunned, impaled, dragged backwards, and Team Fire grab themselves two exceptionally easy kills. Uzi must be getting flashbacks to uh, Season 3 Worlds. BG 1v9. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm farming. I only just got my Infinity Edge. Can we stop dying, please? Uh, those were the days. Give him four new players, and he'll get to get you to another world final. Yep. So was. I, I do love that you can dodge skills with your ultimate. Uh, ideally, you don't use it before Zed actually uses his ultimate, however. So was. Uh, it's low. It's low. just going to get run down again. Faker correctly predicts this time around. First time around, rather. It's just uh, bad to worse. Well, so is his last game of uh, All-Star 2016, 0-5-2. And, and I have been told, Trevor, I need to relay this. Production has asked you to stop complimenting the observers. We're trying to keep them humble. Mm -hmm. Okay, my bad. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll take it down a notch. Okay, keep your focus on Albus better when he's hopping, skipping, and jumping. All right? Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we... Let's get some 360 no-scopes going on. There we go. I'm sure we can, we can land some of those. With the bolas. Now, as this is uh, the final game mode, do Team Ice do something cheesy like a death bush and just sit there and wait? Because that's the only option they can have left I mean, to them. They got part one of death bush. Oh, you can keep waiting. <laughs> Done already. <laughs> yeah. The, the only problem is it might not be the other team that dies when they face check the bush. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, surprise. It's a Rengar with a Ruby Nightstone. What's he going to do? He's going to ward you to death. Peke versus Faker. He's got minions, though. He's got minions. Peke outnumbers Faker. Maelstrom goes down. Here comes Rain Look over. Look at the Dukes. Look at the moves. Oh, Death <laughs> Mark. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just nasty. This is Rain over and Ron OP. TP out, Peke. <laughs> Let it be a lesson. The Faker's like, what, guys? Why are we we're killing him? <laughs> <laughs> Jump to the middle lane, Uzi and Albus, they're trying to pick a fight with a celebrity and they'll win that one. Impact Ooh. goes down with some help from Clear Lab and Peke, he survived! He survived! He survived! Peke is amazing! Incredible, faces down three of the world's best and walks There's away. death in the eye. Not even Faker and his jungler take Peke down. <laughs> Not this time, where's Pyroclasm? Already been used. Clear Lab was just hiding, he's like, so as bro, your, your problem. Goes up. Although, actually, you know what? Props to Clear Lab this time around is a change of tune. Instead of leaving Soez out to dry, um, he, he sacrificed himself, himself, and now Soez just goes and. But he learned a valuable le lesson. You don't help your top laner. Ooh. You know, that actually confused me. I was like, hang on a second. Oh. Where did he go? Oh. No. Oh, not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. Ignite was used already. Ron truly is OP. Let me tell you something about observing, though. If they're not showing. Like, they generally show you where he's not going to juke you. Got it. Mm. Got it. Sorry. They actually spoil it. That's <laughs> true. That's deep. It's That's the plot deep. twist. They actually started, uh, 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 when we started tracking, like, the Ash Arrows, they started showing you the ones that missed, just to build up anticipation. Oh, Baker's going for the kill on Uzi. Well, he find it. Not if uh, he misses the Shurikens. Uh, even if those had hits, I think that would have been optimistic. But it was still in Ignite. I mean, you have to be careful. The second those hits, he pops Ignite, and then obviously Execute from Zulti comes in. I think it's important to note as well. Moby yeah. Boots on Zed uh, with the, the Seeker's Arm Guard. Going for that Hourglass. Yeah. I just saw on sign earlier today. That's the true next level. It, this is a 2017 season build. Okay, this take note. Very standard. This is something that literally everyone should be doing on Zed. Oh, yeah. Ghost played fantastic item in, uh, in the new meta. Honestly, worth rushing. I uh, would love to see more AD carries uh, pick that up as well. 
Fake Especially if they're curve. on the enemy team. Yeah. I concur. <laughs> All right, Operation Protect Soas is in motion. Peke has been called out. <laughs> it's like, uh, Paco, I don't have a jungler. Do you want to help me? Uh, okay, Maybe. got it. Maybe if Peke stands next to Soas, we can see what Team Fire decides to do. Will they just, you know, uh, avoid X Peke because of just how good he is as a player? Ooh, Peke is ready to punish an impact and paint. They <laughs> both just fly upwards. Impact manages to escape using that flash. Fireclasm bounces a couple of times, and it's Impact that gets his fourth kill of the game. Now, Soaz is sticking around in the river. <laughs> he's been proctored. Oh, down. he's been caught out by another Mushroom. Here we go, Protobelt away and being run down by Rono P and Impact. He's going to turn around and try and kill Impact, almost guaranteed at this point. All right, he's going to have to. Rainover's looking for more. Got the Impale available. And look at this, split pushing. Albus with his uh, long swords. He's going to be pushing the middle lane with the help of Uzi. And this is really the critical point in the game when you get that two long sword power spike yep. <laughs> on your level 10 support Rengar. So it makes sense. Like, it augments your Ruby side. So first you need to find the enemy because vision is power and power comes with even more power if you get the long sword. And Obviously. responsibility. That yep. too. No, no responsibility. No responsibility. Oh, take a look at that. Clear left survives. Meditate's going to heal him up. The rest of Team Fire coming to chase. Where is Rainover? Who will he target? Expect it will be the man. Impaled, dragged out of his home, and shut down in front of the Barcelona crowd. I mean, there is something to say for Pekka's ability to soak enemy cooldowns efficiently. I mean, he's creating space. Yeah. The question is, what is his team doing with it? Doesn't look like much. Not <laughs> All right, not this time around. All of those opportunities gone to waste. All right, Impact, can you 100 to zero? Albus. Seems to be the case. The poison, the ignite, the burning. Gunblade wits in. That is your build order. And so as waves a friendly goodbye as Team Fire escape with Baron with a uh, 11,000 gold lead. Right. Hourglass is completed for Faker, boys. Part one of the boomerang strategy is complete. This is where you throw them. Um, step two is obviously catching their throw as they go back with much more uh, momentum. That's what Ice is waiting for. The boomerang strategy is known to fail. <laughs> Do you know anybody who's actually thrown a boomerang and caught it in real no, life? No, that's the problem. You see? No. Only happens in the movies, man. But the yeah. theory is there, right? I mean, on paper, sci scientifically, the boomerang strategy can work. On paper and in video games, Sivir. There we go. No. Nope. But yeah, I don't, I don't know anybody in real life who's actually pulled that one off. And that's what? the problem. Now, this is where we have to change our narrative. We have to look at Team Fire. They've got this monumental lead. They've got Baron. What is an acceptable time frame? for them to win this game before we start saying that they are, in fact, bad. <laughs> hey, I mean, I mean that is a... we, we are the commentators. We have the power, so we can kind of okay, start so that whenever, whenever, whenever we start. Let's define it, because, <laughs> you know, that's whenever teams are this far ahead in, like, a traditional game, we start, like, judging their ability to close, their communication. So I would ask, like... I mean, why don't make it a wager? Over or under five minutes? Trevor? That works. I, right. I can work See, I, I think your skill is inversely proportional how long it takes. It should take you longer. It's all stars. <laughs> Good take. Okay, so you're should make them well. suffer. A <laughs> yeah. here. Since he is a dirty NA caster, obviously approves of ice suffering, but I say we put them out of their misery. That's what I would say as well. So, you know, I, I'm saying with the uh, closer in, Killer meditating up. Impact's looking for the kill, but it's Faker, the dirty kill stealer. The celebrity comes in. Stand aside as Celebrity kills the local celebrity. Pick is down, so is running for his life, looking for a reply. <laughs> he just gets dunked by the spinning axe. That is the ace for Team Fire, and they're opening up the base. It looks like, it looks like Team Fire agree with Crepo in terms of that finishing time frame. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, are they going to stick around? Or are they going to go base? You know, Baker can maybe go for a death cap next. Yeah. See, uh, see how that works out for him. I mean, he has that Zonia's Hourglass, which makes it possible to dive the fountain. Does that laser go through it? I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, it does kill you. And then we'll find out shortly, Fakers. Throw down the Living Shadow. Decided not to go forward, though. Uzi, another tower. Going to be helped out by Albus. And Albus that gets the kill. Part two in motion. Part two of the boomerang. Pull him in the fountain. You got Bait him in that false sense of security. Oh, no. Open, or Match engage. Peke. Not going to be able to kill Rono P yet. The hourglass is up. And it's Soaz is on the board. I don't think it's a kill. PK mastering efficiency, honestly, when you die six times, it's almost worth dying a seventh and an eighth. That's what he's looking for here. Look, no gold, but they used their cooldowns. PK is the master of strategy here. That's Garner Q. It's going to be on cooldown. They need to <laughs> capitalize on this window here, Grepo. <laughs> the time is now. It's not his fault. They he's... need to bounce. 
It's not his fault his team isn't capitalizing on That's the Karnak Yukuna. That's very true. Sometimes you create space for your team and you need to buy in. Exactly. All right, so is going to survive this encounter with Impact, who's picked up a Hurricane, by the way. That is a actually a very terrifying team, though. Um, throws out the mushroom, so is going to jump in with the clone. <laughs> and Paker is just waiting over the wall. Oh, man. Kicking while he's down. He actually yeah. was going to kill him that time. He really was. The Albus gets dragged backwards. Here comes Uzi. Support from Clear Love. That's a double kill. The shutdown. Rain over the target. He's got no impale. Alpha strike. Rocket jump. Everything being used to throw it. And that's a triple for Team Ice. Oh, Uzi just does this. No. Oh, where's the welling here? <laughs> oh, great shot. Great shot. That's the wrong way. I don't think they can get to him, though. Clearlove's gonna be able to escape this time round. He's like, but hey, like this, this boomerang, the momentum is building. This kill, this, this goal, this, this shutdown for That's Team Ice. Favorite Appear strategy. Thirteen thousand gold behind at this point. Cool the down. lead has all but disappeared. Relatively speaking, <laughs> the axes are cooldown. All right, Exit. here we go. See two more kills. Team Fire. This is what you. happens when you capitalize on the axe cooldown, Crap. Ace for Team Ice. Hey. Yeah, let's watch it again. So I was obviously baiting fire into a false sense of security here. Looking how dominant they are. It's all an elaborate ploy. I was as well. Sacrificial lab here, baiting the cooldowns from Faker as Kilov and Uzi jump in. And then obviously the disrespect from Uzi basically telling me, you know what, you can get 2,000, 3,000 more gold. We are still going to win this game. Yeah, that's that gold lead. Just sort of waving it in their face, saying, go for it. Have, have a small donation. Uh, have a, a small assistance. Yeah but it will not change the end result because Team of Fire have two Fire Dragons. And honestly, with a small loan of about 14,000 gold, nice. could easily equalize up this game. Very easily, in fact. And uh, I mean, are you in a position to uh, to lend them some of that gold, Krempo? Dude, I'm a support player. I have no gold to spare. <laughs> Fake is going to throw down the death mark. It's locked down. Oh, there we the go! Zonias. That's what the Zonius is for! He's alive and goes down! It takes Peke that kills Faker in a 4v1. The rest of Team Fire are running to help. So as his hallucination is already killed. Peke and Clearlove stunned up in the Pillar of Flame. Uzi looking to kill Impact. Gets the kill. Hops over the wall and escapes. It's it's a three for two. Three for two here, good trade. They have the security of the Nexus Tower left here. Low HP rate over it, still possible. Final good push. Up. The crowd is in, in charge. They want Peke to bounce back. Here goes Soas. Oh, Soas. Lorraine over shield, comes up. Celebrity kills Uzi. Shuts him down, grabs the axes. Sets his sights onto Soaz. That's one axe, two axe. The third will do it. Throws it for the double kill. Easy shutdown. Nexus turret is the focus. Team Fire with 38 kills. Extinguish Team Ice to win the battle at All-Star 2016. And what a game it was. Meta-defining. Earth-shattering. One of the main reasons I attended this tournament was to gather knowledge. Uh, that knowledge I've definitely gained in this game, and I feel my ELO will only rise after this one. With the level two.